close-up is brought to you by the Kia Sorento R. Redefining the power of Kia. We know the downsides, but like it or not, alcohol is part of many of our lives. So what if there was an alternative that tasted as good, gave the same tipsy feeling, but didn't have the drawbacks? Not only that, but it came with an antidote to immediately reverse its effects. You could even drive home safely. It is the holy grail for a top scientist in the UK, and he's not just any scientist, he was the chief advisor to the UK government on alcohol and drugs even if he did get sacked for his controversial views. Professor David Nutt from London's Imperial College told Jill Higgins about his radical idea. How did he get here? If we can't stop alcohol killing people, which is actually quite difficult, why don't we use neuroscience to make a substitute alcohol? Wouldn't that be sensible? We could make a, an alternative to alcohol which was safe, which wasn't addictive, and also you could have an antidote. So you go to a party, have a couple of cocktails, have a good time, take the antidote, be perfectly safe to drive home. Professor David Nutt, a maverick scientist on a mission. He believes he can change the drinking world for the better, starting in his lab. It is such a logical thing to do. You know, science has got on top of most things. In the old days, I'd have been talking to five people. Now I'm talking to millions in New Zealand on this wonderful electronic medium. You know, science, every aspect of life, science has moved us on, with the one exception of how we intoxicate ourselves. And I think it's time for science to do something there as well. It wouldn't replace fine wines or boutique beers, and it definitely wouldn't be pill-popping. My view is that we would want to make cocktails. We, I, don't want, I don't want people taking pills. I mean, that's, that's completely against the principle. The, one of the nice things about alcohol, well, most alcohol, is it there's a pleasantness to the drinking. So how far has he got? I can mimic alcohol using substances we already have, like benzodiazepines, like, like lorazepam. You know, but like, aren't they dangerous anyway? Well, they're less dangerous than alcohol because they don't cause cirrhosis. They can be, uh, cause um, amnesia and they can cause tolerance and, and withdrawal. So yeah, I'm, so I don't want to use those, but, these, but I only use them to show the principle. This was a highly experimental drug. Only a few people had ever tried it. For research, the drug is in pill form. In this BBC documentary, a doctor puts them to the test. If we get the dose of those right, people will be intoxicated, just like they're drunk. And some people will find it very pleasant. My mood is definitely um, much, much higher than it was this morning. Arrived a bit stressed, a long journey, and it's rather nice now. If I compare this feeling to alcohol, I'd have to say that I'd vote for the three pills from Dr Nutt um, there's something more um, smooth and pleasurable. And it's reversible. For experimental purposes, carried out by injection. So you're waking up now, are you? It worked, but not for long enough. The antidote wore off, and while not a hangover, it wasn't pleasant. There's a sort of discomfort and a slight edge of worry. So what you want is, is a short-acting drug so that the antidote will get rid of all, any further effects and there'll be no reoccurrence of them. It is a work in progress, but there's not as much progress as Professor Nutt would like. Yeah, I am stuck at present, actually, yes. His funding has dried up. The drinks industry could do it. I've approached them and they've said, yeah, well, when you've sorted it, we'll buy it, but we're not going to invest in it, because it's a threat to them. As the pharmaceutical industry say, well, we're not going to invest in this, because if we do go through all the development program and spend you know, millions of dollars getting to a product to market, governments might say, oh, it's illegal because it's a drug. He's not put off. One look at the damage alcohol's causing young people and his motivation gets fired up. Wouldn't it be fantastic if, if, if I could get it fashionable amongst children so that they didn't drink alcohol and didn't ruin their livers at an early age? That, w that would be a fantastic goal. It could happen within two years if I had money. So will it happen? Uh, yes, because I've got a lot of willpower, even if I'm not rich. So I'm going to pursue this. I'm going to pursue... I am pursuing this, because it is such a logical thing to do. And tomorrow night, Jill gets the white coat on again and looks at how alcohol stacks up against other drugs.